responsible for that crash that killed triathlete Karen McKeechee, who was riding her bicycle near Chelsea, will not go to jail. The sentence of probation handed down today was met with protest by those who loved and trained with Karen. Sean Lay was there, and Sean, her fellow cyclists want the law changed. We're talking about hundreds of cyclists in Washtenaw County tonight, Jason, that are saying hitting someone on a bicycle for a motorist is so much more than just a moving violation. Tonight, they're calling for tougher, stricter laws to punish drivers who hit a bicyclist and some safer laws to keep those cyclists safe. Chelsea Brightson doesn't own a car, she bikes. And she's seeing more people behind the wheel making dangerous choices when they encounter cyclists. The most dangerous thing I see is cars passing way too close. She is part of a passionate protest outside of District Court in Chelsea in the name of Karen McKeechee, a triathlon champion. She was an amazing person, amazing athlete. And to call for stronger laws to make it safer to cycle. Give cyclists space, you know, they're vulnerable users. Karen McKeechee's skull was crushed last August when she was hit by a truck. All right. Inside court, the driver of that truck, 71-year-old Terry LaCroix, charged with a misdemeanor moving violation. LaCroix was speeding to pass a car when he hit McKeechee. Doug Muncy, a retired police officer, was there and say troopers never checked LaCroix for alcohol or if he was distracted. It would have been a felony. It was devastating. McKeechee's family told the judge that LaCroix deserved jail time, and Terry LaCroix spoke out. The sentence that you decide today, I promise that I will, for I will fulfill it. In the end, tears. LaCroix got probation. The women riding with Karen McKeechee that day say she was following the laws, and LaCroix's decision was much more than a moving violation. He was coming right at us, coming right at us. Back here live, bottom line, LaCroix walked out today with a $3,000 fine and restitution plus court costs. He could have gotten a year in jail on that misdemeanor, Jason. Well, you can sure understand their frustration, Sean, and uh, the group protesting there today, uh, taking their concerns to state lawmakers now? Yeah, they'd like to go to Lansing. They are currently petitioning lawmakers for a couple of different things. One in particular would be to give, uh, motorists would have to give cyclists five feet of extra room. Instead of kind of seeing them as a pest, when you see a, a cyclist on the road, they want people to remember to give them at least five feet of extra room because cyclists have the same rights as a vehicle yes, as anyone do. else driving another type of vehicle. They sure do. All right, Sean, thanks.